Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to Gloria's Ventures. This is Gloria here. So today, I want to show you how my niece cured her eczema using noni soap. So without any further ado, let's get to it. So we have our noni soap there. We have noni fruit, we have water, and uh, noni juice. Noni has antibacterial and antifungal properties. So you can use noni to cure eczema, rashes, and wounds. On the other hand, noni is good for digestion and memory loss. Noni is also good for your hair, skin and nails. And research says that noni can fight cancer-causing cells. If you have eczema, don't use harsh chemicals on your skin. It is best to use natural products that are gentle on your skin. So today we are using noni soap, which is moisturizing and soothing to your dry skin. So firstly, you wash the affected area with noni soap. This noni soap has no colors or perfumes. Colors and perfumes in most products may be harsh to your skin and may cause your skin to dry and to itch. Massage in the soap to remove dirt and to allow the noni to do its thing. Noni will moisturize your dry skin and will relieve you from itching. After washing, take the same soap and apply it to the affected area and let it dry. Then apply a gentle moisturizer. I recommend you apply Moringa oil or castor oil. If you don't have the soap, you can take a ripe noni fruit and squeeze out the juice, then apply it on the affected area. Let's say you don't have the soap and the fresh noni fruit and you have fermented noni juice. You can use that and it will give you the same best results you will be looking for. So my niece used the same method of washing the affected area with noni soap, then applied the soap on the affected area and after two months, her eczema was gone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy. Bye.